In this video demo, we will use an integral membrane oligosaccharyl transferase, or OST, a key enzyme in the N-glycosylation pathway. The enzyme catalyzes glycan transfer from a lipid-linked oligosaccharide, LLO, to an asparagine residue. We will select the bilayer system type, 6GXC for the PDB ID, RCSB for the download source, and click Next. We want to include both proteins, LLO, and one magnesium ion near the catalytic site, and click Next. If we want to modify the protein structure, this is where we would do it. To learn how to use the structure manipulation options, please see the video demos for PDB Reader and Manipulator. In this case, we modify engineered residues DAB into ASN to convert it back to a native charm residue. The manganese ion also needs to be selected through CSML search. MN2P is the residue we are interested in. LLO is automatically detected for glycosylation as well. Then click Next to generate a CHARM-compatible PDB file. When it finishes, you should view the structure to ensure that it was read correctly. Now we orient the proteins to the membrane. We recommend the PPM server option in general, but other options are available to orient your molecules. Click Next to proceed to the Membrane Lipid Selection page. At this stage, we can see the calculated cross-sectional area of the protein. See Step2Orient.pdb to confirm that the protein is properly oriented. We'll build a bilayer with POPE lipids and POPG lipids with a ratio of 3 to 1, as this ratio represents a typical gram-negative bacterial inner membrane. Type the ratios of upper and lower leaflets with integers. Then set the length of X and Y for the system, and click Show the System Info. After clicking Next, we solvate the bilayer system and add ions to mimic the physiological conditions. Before proceeding, make sure that you see step3packing.pdb to check if your system is positioned properly in the XY plane. We recommend having at least two to three lipid head group spheres between the transmembrane domain and the box edge. Then we will assemble all of these components from the PDB, lipid bilayer, water box, and ions. If you have any questions regarding this series of steps, please see the video demos for Membrane Builder. In the QMI-specific ligand modification stage, we can modify the existing ligands in the system using Marvin.js. Since we're not modifying any ligand for this system, we'll just confirm which molecular force field we'll use. If you have any questions regarding this step, please see the other video demos for QMMM Interfacer. On this page, we show how to select the atoms for the QM region before generating QMMM inputs. First, select protein and substrate peptide sidechain atoms by providing their segment ID and residue ID and using the sidechain shortcut atom selection. Next, we select part of the LLO molecule. The QM region can be visualized by clicking the Show Selected QM Region button, which causes selected QM atoms to be colored magenta in the Molecule Viewer. The total MM charge of the selected QM region will be interactively shown here to help decide the charge of the QM region. You might want to include water molecules coordinated to manganese, which are currently absent in the system as no crystal water exists in the PDB-6GXC. You could upload your custom PDB with coordinated waters and select those waters during the chain selection step of PDB Reader. Or you can manually add bulk water molecules that become coordinated during equilibration. We impose a strong positional restraint for the selected QM region during equilibration, so you might observe bulk water molecules enter the QM region and coordinate with manganese. Make sure to include those water molecules in qmregion.str for charm and production.inp for amber. Because whole water molecules will be used, no additional link insertions or charge distributions will be required. The QM region selected above involves cutting a covalent bond between the C-alpha and C-beta atoms of the selected side chain and within LLO. For the QM-MM boundary, QMI currently supports the H-link method. When you select the H-link option, a link hydrogen atom is inserted automatically at each QM-MM boundary that cuts a covalent bond. In this demo, we insert a total of two H-link atoms. After typing the desired total charge of the QM region, click Distribute Charge to distribute any residual charge to the nearest MM atoms. These links are automatically detected based on their MM connectivity, 
and a proposed charge distribution is shown below when you click the Distribute Charge button. By default, QMI evenly divides the partial charges into the end links. However, you can override any default partial charge by modifying the value in its corresponding text box. On the next page, we can download the generated QMMM inputs. The enclosed README file demonstrates how to use them, but you can ask any additional questions to the Charm GUI forum.